Hey guys, my name's Haley. Welcome back to the Disney Cupcake channel and happy May the 4th. It is Star Wars Day. It is the big Shop Disney release day. If the parks were open, if the stores were open, they would be insane madness today because Star Wars Day is very, very exciting. May the 4th be with you. We're gonna check out my Star Wars pops today. We're going to order stuff on Shop Disney and see if the site works today. We're gonna maybe make some Star Wars food and watch some Star Wars movies and shows and do Star Wars bound. I got my Star Wars pajamas on, Funko Pop t-shirt and Star Wars pants. We're ready to go. It is currently 9.20. So we have to go have breakfast and get on Shop Disney and be ready to purchase our items before the whole website explodes. <laughs> If you guys watched the last video, <laughs> you saw the battery died pretty quick. I guess that's how today's gonna go too. I changed my Fitbit to the Star Wars targeting computer icon, so we are fully Star Wars today. Some churro donuts today for breakfast. Not very Star Wars-y, but it looks pretty good. Something went wrong. Got your little Star Wars tie on. You got a nice little haircut. You look different than the last video. Get him. <laughs> oh my. It is now 11.10 on May the 4th. And I have to say, we have three computers up with the checkout thing going because I had other people in my family that wanted different things. So we all focused on one or two items each and then did that. That way maybe it would work, work better on loading. That way we weren't trying to put like um, a bunch of different things in the cart and trying to check out. But it is still at the same page that you guys just saw in that last clip. It is still spinning at that same page and it's been over an hour and I have looked on Twitter, I have looked on eBay, and people are just not getting any sort of shipping confirmation at all. So who knows? We may get a bunch of Star Wars stuff. We may get nothing. We've gotten... It's at the checkout screen. Like, it's at the final page of the checkout screen, and it's just spinning. So I'll keep you guys posted if that ever works and what time it actually works. And if you guys tried to order things on Shop Disney or on Target or on fig pin or something let me know down below in the comments how it worked out for you and did it work did you get the item that you wanted to get did you are, is it doing the same thing that mine's doing right now let me know down below in the comments because i'd love to hear how it went for you guys my main goal was to get the key let's see if we get the key and if i do get any of the stuff in the mail i will do a haul video on that so please make sure to subscribe for more daily disney 
content. I also wanted to share with you guys that I will be doing a very fun live stream this Saturday at 2 p.m. We're going to be designing the fifth park for Walt Disney World, so I'm going to be sketching out our little map and gathering all of your concepts and ride ideas and like drawing them out so we're going to create our own fifth park for disney world i think it's going to be a lot of fun just to like have some creativity get your mind off some things and just think of the future magic that the disney parks could have i think it'll be a lot of fun so i'd really appreciate it if you guys could join me this saturday at 2 p.m for a special designing a fifth park live stream i'm going to think of some ideas here this week that way i also have some ideas to share with you and i'm very excited to like sketch it all out and get some of your ideas and opinions because there are so many things that the Disney parks could have and it's just it's a very very fun concept so with all of that I need to get dressed now that it's almost noon and start our whole Star Wars day so I'm gonna do a whole Star Wars bound outfit so let's get ready so I don't know if that worked again but I got some some Star Wars going on today. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Um, I just did like some green eyeshadow and like my normal thing. That way I didn't look super crusty for the picture. <laughs> I just came in from taking the picture and it is freezing outside and I think they came out so cool. If you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, make sure to go check that out linked down below. Um, I post a lot of like Disney bounding behind the scenes of my collection and things on there and I also post a lot of updates on my story as well so you won't want to miss that. Look at that seriousness. Whoa. Whoa. So there are the pictures for the day. I'm so, so excited to go over and post those. So welcome to Docking Bay 7. We're gonna have some space fruit and we're gonna make Star Wars sandwiches. We're out of sporks, so that's, that's not good. <laughs> I'm trying to make a Star Wars themed lunch and then I realized I don't have any like food that looks space-like, so. And a lot of you guys like seeing Kylo on the vlog on Sunday. So here's another little update. He got a haircut over the weekend. So he's looking all handsome, all cutesy. Yes, and he has his Star Wars little bandana on already. We're all Star Wars out all day. We're back in the waiting room again. Oh, still in the waiting room again. Um, I guess today's video is just going to be this animated Millennium Falcon. And I've been getting a lot of DMs from you guys saying you also haven't been able to get stuff, so I wish you all luck in that. And I hope I can show you guys a waving joy at like midnight. Okay, so we still have the Shop Disney tab open. The whole website's down. If you just type in Shop Disney, it will immediately put you on this waiting room page and it is currently 12.53. So we've been doing this for about three hours. And I also have here the Build-A-Bear tab open because they're gonna release the child again today. So maybe I'll pick it up. I'm not sure yet, we're just gonna see how crazy it is. And then the other page we have is the Fig Pin page. This will also be releasing, I believe, at 1 o'clock to get this Empire Strikes Back Fig Pin. So we'll see how crazy this is here in a few minutes. Alright, so now we're in the waiting room for Build-A-Bear. It has a timer, which is awesome. Thanks, Shop Disney. And over here for Fig Pin, nothing yet. Oh, 
All right, we got the fake pin, which is pretty hype. So I'll show that in a haul video. It is currently 2.27. We got joy, we got the key. So I will do a video once the key arrives, but I'm just glad to see joy after four hours of all of this. <laughs> we were also able to purchase the child plush from Build-A-Bear, so that will be another video coming very soon. All right, so as of 2.39, we officially got the key. We officially got the Build-A-Bear. We officially got the pre-order for the fig pin. My computer and another one of my family members' computers are still spinning for the pin. Um, so hopefully that will work out eventually. The site is slowly starting to work again. I don't think the virtual waiting room worked. Um, it did for like to get the item, but then once you got the item, the checkout was a complete disaster. Literally, that's where everything went downhill. After some time, I was able to get the stuff in the bag, but truly the checkout became the biggest problem. Um, I think people just started checking out as they were getting things, and there were just too many people in the checkout, and just it just crashed the whole site. And the app also crashed during that time as well. I hope that the whole shopping process for all of you guys worked out as well. It was a time. I'm glad we were able to at least get an item or two here, and... Hopefully we can go back to the store soon and to be able to do this because I feel like that was a little bit easier. <laughs> Before we take a look at the pops, I almost forgot to mention, I do have the 10 inch child pop pre-ordered along with the normal size child pop pre-ordered. I have no idea when those are gonna come. And I also have the Mandalorian, the Mando and the child brick heads by Lego. I also have those pre-ordered as well, so. <laughs> Items will come eventually, and I'll film them when they show up. I have no idea with all the shipping things, with all the stuff happening, when things are going to come, and whatever. So I'm apologize, I can't tell you guys when, but soon. So if you guys missed yesterday's video, you guys have started to see that I am kind of creating a little Babu Frick collection over there. So we have Babu Frick, Mando, and a Death Trooper. And then here on these big shelves, I have all of my Star Wars ones here kind of going in order from The Force Awakens, like the newer series, like Last Jedi, Rise of Skywalker, and then kind of going reverse there. So we got episode six and five. Four and Rogue One. And lastly down here I have DJ Rex and Hondo Onaka. So there's a little bit of a Star Wars collection for you guys. Leave a comment down below if you collect Star Wars stuff or if you have any Star Wars Funko Pops. Now with our little doodle done, it is now four o'clock and I just went and started the oven. I'm just making like this chicken salad thing. Again, not very Star Wars-y. I thought about making the whole like tip yip from Galaxy's Edge, which is like chicken, but um, this is all I have with the whole quarantine thing. So we're gonna just enjoy that. Now while I wait for this like to cook and things, I need to work on editing this video so you guys can see it on May the 5th, the Revenge of the 5th, um, Happy Revenge of the 5th, hype. <laughs> so I also have some other videos I need to edit today to be able to get out for the week. We got some fun videos coming out this week and um, I also forgot to mention that Shop Disney finally loaded and we were able to get the pin. All right, so it's been a little bit, had dinner, it was great. Um, I decided I'm gonna make some blue milk today um, for Star Wars Day, I thought it'd be really fun. I could not have the blue milk 
at Galaxy's Edge, I'm pretty sure. I just decided to come up with my own quick, easy recipe. So if you guys have looked up the blue milk recipes, you'll see that like it's add this and add that because they're trying to replicate the one at Galaxy's Edge, which has a bunch of crazy things in it. But I'm gonna do the most simple blue milk or green milk recipe you'll find on the internet. Oh, did I do it? You're gonna wanna get vanilla ice cream, some milk, a blender, and lastly, whoa, it's so spooky. Oh, some food coloring. And we're just gonna make a milkshake. All right, whoa, big chunk. So now we're gonna put our blue in. Oh, it's gonna be so exciting. All right, so we're gonna put on our lid. All right, and then turn it on and just blend it. Ultra blend. Do we ultra blend this? I mean, that looks pretty good to me. All right, here we go. True test in the beautiful sunlight. We have our blue milk drink concoction. Oh, beautiful. All right, so here it is. It actually came out like so good looking. Like the color and like how just like liquidy it is worked so, so well. Let's, let's taste it. I mean, it tastes like a vanilla milkshake, obviously, but since I like blended a lot, it's like very, very creamy. Just the theming, just the thought makes it so much better. I think I've truly lost it. Quarantine. Quarantine. I just finished some some editing some of this video actually um, got some other fun videos done it is now nine o'clock what a day we spent five hours on shop Disney ordering things we had some Star Wars lunch we had some churro donuts we had a normal dinner but we had some blue milk for dessert that was a pretty Star Wars day. Like, we did the little doodle. You guys watched the, the time lapse of the five hours on Shop Disney? <laughs> like, what a time. Did you guys do anything fun for Star Wars Day? Leave me a comment down below. Maybe give me some ideas for next year. Just things I can do as well. Hopefully one day, one year, we can actually go to the parks for Star Wars Day, May the 4th day i think that'd be so so much fun now we're gonna go watch some star wars thing i'm not sure yet i'm gonna see what the rest of the people in my house would like to watch that is star wars related and we're gonna call it a day So that was our Star Wars day. It is now 11.40 at night. We watched um, Rise of Skywalker because some of my family members have not seen it yet. Not a terrible movie, but definitely not the best Star Wars movie. There's, there's many parts that I'm kind of eh about, but I mean, they fixed The Last Jedi, so I mean, all, all is good. I hope you guys had a wonderful May the 4th and happy Revenge of the Sith Day, Revenge of the 5th Day. Um, with all of that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!